Hi guys, I'm the Book Geek and welcome to my channel. This is my reaction for Game of Thrones Season 8, Episode 5. And here we go. Who's writing that to the Iron Throne? Oh God, is that Varys? Yep. Who's he writing that to? There's something you need to know. Someone has betrayed me. I feel so bad for her. Yes. Jon Snow. No. Daenerys. He knows the truth about Jon. He does. And who told him? Because you told him. Ah, oh, shit! <sighs> you learned from Sansa. And she learned from Jon. Though I begged him not to tell her. As I said, he betrayed me. I'm glad Sansa told me. I am your hand. <sighs> but it doesn't matter now. Is she gonna sentence them to death? Does he not know? I'm scared. She looks horrible. Uh, somebody's gonna die very soon. Lord Varys, I, Daenerys of House Targaryen, first of my name, breaker of chains and mother of dragons. Oh, shit. I knew it. I, see to die. I knew it. I knew it. Dracarys. I knew it. I knew it. I called that shit. I called that shit. I knew it. Look how he's looking at her. Yeah. Now they're all changing their mind about you, Danny. Now they think you're going mad. You proved Varys right. People who live there, they're not your enemies. They're innocents like the She's gonna rule through fear. In Marine, the slaves turned on the masters and liberated the city themselves on their own right. They're afraid. Anyone who resists Cersei will see his family butchered. You can't expect them to be heroes. If the city surrenders, they will ring the bells and raise the gates. Please, if you hear them ringing the bells, call off the attack. Wait for me outside the city. You'll know when it's time. I hate what they're doing with her character right now. Next time you fail me, be the last time you fail me. Danny, he's only there to advise you. You don't have to take every fucking thing that he says and do it he's just your advisor I mean granted all the strategies that Tyrion have tried to use have failed if it works give the order to ring all the bells in King's Landing and open the gates that will be our signal that the city has surrendered I'll try I never thought I'd get to repay the favor remember Ring bells and open the gates. You're gonna die. The queen will execute you for that. Yes. If Daenerys can make it to the throne without wading through a river of blood, maybe she'll serve mercy to the person who made that possible.
tens of thousands of innocent lives. One not particularly innocent dwarf. Seems like a fair trade. If it weren't for you, I never would have survived my childhood. You just treat me like a monster. You were all I had. Yeah, hug your brother, cause uh yeah. Two pissed off women here. <laughs> Not good. Is she seriously swooping in like that? She know they got them big ass spears. They can shoot more than one at a time. Oh, shit. She coming up from the back. right over. She still got some Doc Rocky left. Bruh, you dead. You should just lay, lay down. Yeah. Grey Worm is mad as hell. You killed his girl. Hell yeah. I don't blame her. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I, but Tyrion just gave fucking Jaime a way to smuggle fucking Cersei out. I'm going to be mad if Cersei lives. I'm going to be pissed if she survives. She's stubborn. She's so fucking stubborn. fucking intense. But is Danny gonna give a fuck about the bells ringing? That's the thing. Cause she is mad as hell right now. Look at her face. She wants Cersei ass. She wants Cersei ass so bad. What's she gonna do? She gonna do it anyway. No, Danny, no. You better than that. vision wow 
What is she going to do? No, Daenerys! You won! You won already! Why did they do this to her character? I'm I'm mad about this. Now they're going to pick all their swords back up and they're going to fight now. He don't give a fuck no more neither. They killed his girl. John does not agree with this. They surrendered. You won. This see that was unnecessary. I can't believe Danny did that. I knew she was going to do that though. This was so fucking predictable. You see what you did, Cersei? You woke the dragon. Now I don't know who to side here with. I don't know who, who to side with. There's no way she can rule. She can't. Somebody got to put her down. Got to put her down. She's too far gone. She's too far gone. It's over. <clears throat> what she should have did was flown straight to the tower to kill Cersei's dumb ass. Not kill all the people in the street. We don't have time for this. Like, we don't even have time for this shit. If this is the way Jamie dies, I'm gonna be mad. Please kill Euron. I can't stand this motherfucker. Shit here. What the fuck are the writers doing, man? Euron kills Jamie. This is stupid. We fought well. We're cripple. I'm not liking this. I'm pissed. I'm mad right now. I'm, I'm too fucking mad to even cry. Yes! Kill this motherfucker, Jamie! Fucking asshole! about to die in Cersei's arms. Is that the route we taking? That's what y'all about to do. Hello, big brother. 
Here we go. The ultimate face off. Sir Gregor, stay by my side. Sir Gregor, I command you. Obey your queen, Sir Gregor. Oh! He's dead! Shit! Cersei, run. Cersei, just run by him, please. Worried about Cersei. That's why I'm conflicted right now. <laughs> Shit. 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 Oh, God. Oh, my God. That's not your brother anymore. He's worse. That's you. That's what you've always been. A monster. After you tried to kill him, he's still dead for your ass. alive anymore look he's not alive anymore he's zombie zombified you got to cut his head off oh come on get up get up get up just die Come on, get up! No. No! Come on! Come on! He's not alive anymore! No! 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 This is bullshit! No! No! Just leave! He's already dead. Just leave, honey. Push him over. Knock him through that fucking wall. Yes. Fuck it. Oh, I'm gonna miss you. Oh my God. Danny, just stop. You won already. I need to leave. You need to go. Yeah, just leave. Yes, retreat. Cause she burning shit up and she don't give a fuck who's in there. And Cersei gets away. She did all of this and Cersei still gets the fuck away. You should have flown right to the tower, the red keep, and took that out first. After you got rid of the scorpions. She should have flown to the Red Keep and destroyed that. And then Cersei would have been dead. This shit would have been over.
She's still alive. Get your ass up and get the fuck out of King's Landing, girl. There is no Iron Throne. They go to Ash. <sighs> she is the Queen of Ashes. Please tell me Daenerys is done burning shit down. This is just devastating. That's a great shot right there of Arya. I can't even believe it. That's the way the show goes off? Okay, I need scenes for next week. was crazy. It's gonna be a lot of angry people. A lot of people are gonna be angry with the nearest about what she did. They really made her turn to the dark side. She fulfilled the threat that her father ordered years ago. Burned them all. Okay, so she was the Mad Queen. I thought she was going to change her mind in the end. I really did. This is insanity. Tyrion, ugh. Your brother and sister didn't make it. This is 
is crazy. Okay, so that was my reaction to episode 5 of Game of Thrones for season 8. What did you guys think of episode? Because I have a lot of emotions going. Um, my mind is just completely blown. A lot of the things that I put into my predictions and thoughts and things of that nature came true in this episode. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm a little speechless here because I knew that Danny could take this route and I knew that this is what they was building up for. I knew this is the route that they was taking her character and I knew even if the writers didn't take her character this, this, in this direction that this was something that she could be capable of because she's lost so much and she's been pushed too far. But I thought at the last second that maybe she would be on Drogon's back and she would look down and she would see some innocent children and she would come to her senses and she would stop. But that didn't happen. She just kept burning shit. This is a woman who freed slaves, who gave people who was chained up drinks of water. I mean... They backed her into a corner. I understand that. But after she took out the Golden Company army, who were fucking useless. I thought we was going to see them fight a little bit this episode. But after she took out the Golden Company army, and she took out the Iron Fleet, and she took out the Scorpions, she should have flown straight to the Red Keep to knock down the tower and take Cersei out. Instead, she decides to burn up the entire fucking city. That didn't make sense to me. She sees this place that I guess her family has built. This place where a Targaryen supposed to, a Targaryen was sitting on the throne, and a Targaryen should be sitting on that throne. She sees this place off in the distance after the bells are ringing. She's just shaking. I think at that moment she forgot her agenda. The agenda is to get. Fucking Cersei. Defeat Cersei. She should have flown that fucking dragon straight to the Red Keep and took Cersei out at that moment. I mean, the fact that she didn't do that led to some great moments with Cersei um, and Jaime and whatnot and the whole Cersei trying to escape thing. But, wow, I, I'm wondering what Tyrion's going to think or have to say. Once he realizes that his brother and sister did not make it out alive, I'm wondering if she's going to kill Tyrion at this moment. I'm wondering if he's going to try to escape. I'm wondering a whole lot of things. Because Daenerys has turned to the dark side. I don't justify the killing of innocent people, but I do understand Danny's frustration and anger. I understand that. She has a right to be angry after all she's lost. But she's angry at the wrong people. She wanted to be somebody better than that. And ultimately, she ended up fulfilling the threat that her father made all those years ago before she was even born. Burned them all. She fulfilled his threat. Finally. And she's going to rule through fear. So now she's no better than her enemies. She always wanted to be someone better than that. And characters who were once good and then they turned to the dark side. It's upsetting. It's devastating. But I guess it's interesting. I just wanted something different for Danny. I, I saw this coming a mile away. I predicted this shit. It was very predictable. And the fact that Jamie and fucking Cersei died in such an anticlimactic way. I wanted Cersei to suffer. I guess she suffered. I mean, but I knew that Jamie was going back to save her, to be with her. And I said in my prediction, you know, he, they came into this world together and they're going to die together. They're going to go out together. And that's exactly what happened. But it just seemed, it seemed like Jamie deserved a better ending. And so did Cersei. I just, I don't know. Um... It was, Jamie and Cersei's death was underwhelming for me. It was still sad to see Cersei crying and saying, I want my baby, to, I want our baby to live, and Jamie holding her. Ultimately, he did die in the arms of the woman that he loves, 
which is Cersei, even after she tried to kill him. It's very complicated. I know, I know that. It's just, I, I just, I'm not upset that Jamie died in Cersei's arm. I kind of called that and saw that coming. But I just wanted him to go out in a, in a better way. And the whole fight between him and Euron, I felt like was unnecessary. He got stabbed twice. Uh, I don't know. I'm just... I don't... I, like I said before in my previous videos, I just don't like the direction they're taking Danny's character. But I can understand it. I'm interested to know what's going to happen for the last episode. Um, in the promo, we see Arya looking very angry and staring at Daenerys. Let me just tell you here right now, if Arya kills Danny, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. Can we give that to someone else? Arya killed the Night King. We don't need her to kill Daenerys too. That storyline should go to someone else. She had enough star moments this season. Like, give somebody else a star moment. I feel like Jon has been playing the background this season. I want to see more from John. Um, it was interesting to see his reaction because I think he's realizing now that something needs to be done about what Daenerys did. I know that he does not agree with the killing of innocent women and children and people in general. So, I don't know. I'm just um, conflicted. I found myself caring about Cersei I was so conflicted during this episode. One of the most heartbreaking moments from this episode was the moment that Tyrion and Jaime shared. Like I said in some videos before, Tyrion and Jaime have always had um, a special bond, a special relationship. And to see them embrace each other that way, and basically Tyrion was, you know, kind of, they was kind of saying they last goodbyes to one another it, it was it was sad to see um i don't know how he's gonna react when he find out his brother is dead his brother is the only person who has ever loved him unconditionally we gotta wait till next episode to see the aftermath and she's not done yet She's still mad at John. She's still mad at Tyrion. And she's still mad at Sansa. So it's not over yet. She's not done yet. She's one pissed off dragon. They woke the dragon. And she is pissed off. And she is just not thinking rationally anymore. She's turned into the villain. It seems as if Danny realized that the people are never going to love her. She hasn't given it much time giving the people much time to to see her true intentions but she realizes that the people will never love her or embrace her the way they embrace John so she's never going to have their love anyway so now that she does at this point this point is going to matter much because they don't love her anyway so fuck it I'm going to burn this whole fucking place down to the ground I choose fear they're never going to love me anyway so I'm going to do it this way I think she dies last episode. I really do. I mean, I don't want her to die. I don't want Arya to be the one to do it. Because I feel like Arya has had enough oh my god moments. But the, I just feel like it might be Arya to do it. I'm just, I'm really anxious to see what everyone is going to have to say. Once... Everything calms down, and I want to know what John's going to have to say, what Tyrion's going to have to say. It's going to be crazy. And she's not done yet. That's the thing. I guess she's... She wanted to be a better person, and it just didn't work. She wanted to save people. She's never going to be the same again after this. So I think she needs to die. This is her downward spiral. The Hound finally got his revenge. And I'm glad he talked Arya out of not going to do what she was, you know, going to kill Cersei. Um, I've said this before, but 
You know, they act like they can't stand each other, but they really loved each other. Um, the Hound and Arya. They really cared for one another. And I think we see that in that moment when she says thank you to him. I'm glad she said some parting words to him. Um, and it was just so ironic that he ends up dying by fire. He ends up falling into that blaze of fire. Um, but his, you know, he hated his brother so much. He needed to get that revenge. Um, and no amount of fire would have kept him from getting his revenge on his brother. And then you have Arya, this, this, this girl who, she has a lot of hate in her heart. Um, for the people who have hurt her and her family. And we know she has her list, her, her vendetta list. Um. But to see this girl that's so full of revenge out there actually trying to help people, I think that was important. Because what did the hound say to her? Do you want to end up like me? And then in the end, we see her actually doing the opposite of hurting people and actually trying to help people. So I think that was important. Um, but then she didn't actually get a chance to help anybody. And that white horse at the end was like symbolic or something, wasn't it? Don't white horses mean something? I have to look it up. Don't white horses have something to do with death? I don't know. I'm going to look that up. All right, I've rambled on enough. I'm going to stop talking here. I'm going to talk more about this episode in my afterthoughts video. Um, but let me know down below in the comment sections, what do you think is going to happen for the final episode of Game of Thrones? Do you think Danny will live? Do you think she will die? If you think she's going to die, who do you think is going to kill her? Will it be Arya? Will it be Jon? Will it be Tyrion? Tyrion is the hand of the queen. It would be so fitting if the hand of the queen kills the queen. Just like the hand of the king killed the Mad King. Jamie was the hand of the Mad King. And he killed him. He put him down. And it would be so fitting, like history repeating itself, if the hand of the queen kills the mad queen. So, let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. <sighs> what a shitstorm. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.